Hello, Sonny. Laura. Do you have a minute? Um, you looking for Lou? No, I'm here to see you. Sure. Can I get you a drink, a soda, water? No, do you mind if I just come right to the point? Not at all. I, uh, went to see Ned Ashton and I asked him to let me hear the tape of your conversation with Harry. And I bet he fell all over himself hitting the play button. He cooperated. Well, you know, this tape has been blown way out of proportion, and I don't know why... Please don't insult my intelligence by telling me that I didn't hear what I heard. I would never do that. Good. As you know, my husband and I disagree as to whether or not, um... your business associations pose any kind of a threat to my family. They don't. I don't agree. The way I see it, your associations have affected us most emphatically. We're not together anymore, in case you haven't noticed. And that's my fault? Do you remember you made a promise to me a long time ago? Yeah. You told me that if what you did outside of this club ever came down on my house, that you would end your business relationship with my husband. And I offered to do that, but you turned me down. Yes. I am asking you to honor your word now. You're very direct, Laura. Uh, I've always admired that about you. Saves time. Then I guess you won't mind if I return a favor. Please do. Nothing I am involved in poses any danger for you or any member of your family. That is the honest to God truth. Now, the only reason this is causing any trouble at all is because you're allowing it to. So in other words, uh, I have hysterically perhaps conjured up a scenario that has no basis in fact. If my read is clear, and this is about how my activities directly affect you, my answer is a cautious yes. As far as the hysterical part, you're not the type. I'm not the stupid type either, Sonny. And I'm not naive about the mob. I cut my teeth on it. I know what I heard on the tape. You were currying favor with a mobster who nearly killed my husband. I was ensuring the peace for everybody's sake. Peace is a fluid concept to a man like Rivera. I won't take the chance with my children's lives. Believe it or not, Laura, there is honor among thieves. The slaughter of innocent children is, is, is neither encouraged nor accepted as a reasonable way to behave. Really? Well, my son's already been shot once, so forgive me if I'm not reassured. And frankly, I don't want to have this argument with you. The only thing that I want from you is that you honor your promise to me and you sell your interest in this club back to Luke. I'll take it up with him. Thank you. Luke, she felt she had the right. She doesn't. This is, this is way over the line. I did make the offer to both of you. Our partnership has nothing to do with Laura. She can't control it. 
This club is my territory. Well, see, I, I didn't tell you to cause any more trouble. I, I, I just want to know if we both agree that it's best we go our separate ways. That's fine with me. If and when we come to that decision, it'll be you and me that decides, not my wife.